This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick at the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another video review today. This time, taking a look at an application that we've already, uh, you know, we looked at this one a little while back, a couple months ago, I think, uh, more towards the start of the fall. And uh, we really liked it back then, and we like it even more now because they've added a couple new additions, some new, um, you know, features that we're going to give you a little bit of a glimpse of, just to sh sort of show you where this app has been and how you know where it is now. And uh, overall, we're still quite enamored with this uh, app, and we see that it's improved, and we hope it keeps improving. It's done absolutely, uh, it's taking great strides as far as that goes, and we hope they continue to do well with this. Uh, but the application uh, involved here is called Buncee Pro. And this is sort of an e-card slash scrapbooking slash uh, whatever else you'd want to put into that sort of greetings category uh, style app. And it's available for a solid 99 cents in the App Store for a limited time only. That is a promo uh, giveaway. So go ahead and jump on that now if you're watching this video. And if you like the app, you know, go ahead and uh, get on that now So uh, while it's still at the 99 cent limited time only price tag. Uh, but here's the main menu, and uh, it's got the same uh, same interface that we absolutely love as far as simplicity goes, and uh, with a couple new additions, which we'll talk about in just a second with all these holiday uh, items. Uh, but just to give a quick run through, uh, the app makes it very simple to create e cards or greetings, uh, whatever you'd like to call them. So if you're into sending your friends and family e cards, uh, obviously this is a pretty fantastic way to do it. It's based around the idea of clip art and background. So you have all kinds of different clip art over here, something like 150 different pieces. And to select a category, you simply select it. And then you can scroll along using this nice menu uh, at the bottom that contains all the various pieces. We really like, we really like this design, excuse me, because. To put it simply, it's just easy to navigate. Uh, no matter what you're looking for, if you're looking for a set of glasses, you can hit glasses, and then there they all are. You can just uh, scroll right through them with the fingers. So it's very touch optimized and very uh, well suited for the iPad. Is I guess uh, what really drew us to it was the fact that it's so well integrated with what the uh, the iPad actually offers in terms of usability and uh, touch optimization. So that's pretty fantastic. Uh, but outside of just design and raw quality terms, it's extremely easy to uh, to add your own unique elements. And then once added, any of these clip art pieces can be dragged or dropped or scaled or rotated, all using your fingers, of course, again, very uh, touch optimized. And to add new elements, you simply tap. If you want to get rid of them, you just simply hold. And then you can either bring to front or send to back, so you can create layers here, a la Photoshop or something like that, which adds a whole new level of uh, richness and complexity to this application. Uh, but if you want to get rid of it, you simply hit delete. And there it goes. We did have a slight problem editing text in terms of scaling them or scaling the boxes. Uh, that's uh, the pretty much our only complaint with this app, actually, is the fact that we couldn't get our text boxes to expand like we'd like them to, but editing them was really simple, so uh, no complaints there. There's also a draw function that we'll talk about before diving into the holiday uh, specialties that are offered in the latest update. You can uh, simply go in, draw whatever you want. You can hand draw some letters, all kinds of different colors. Likewise, there's an opacity level if you'd like to do that. And if you want to get rid of any of it, just simply hit clear and you can end. So that's nice if you want to go through and then uh, add some handwritten notes or underline something or even just draw, say, a mustache. Which, uh, Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that on Rudolph here. Uh, mustache. There we go. In drawing, so a uh, quick little uh, demonstration of that. There are all kinds of different backgrounds here, and again, they're arranged by category. And uh, the uh, item of note that we're going to talk about with this latest update is the various holiday elements that have been added. With the Yuletide season coming up, you know, we're very uh, impressed by the fact that these have been introduced. And uh, we're absolutely floored by all the uh, Christmas content that's been added. There's a calendar, obviously, that you can add, and we're using this sort of Christmassy, uh, you know, uh, pegboard, so to speak, uh, along the back there. But there's also a gingerbread house, some uh, photos that you can add. And again, you can load any kind of photos that you want uh, from your camera roll or various other sources via add an image, which is another piece of functionality. Uh, that we uh, have missed previously in this uh, video review. You can simply add from the camera, from the photo library, which is fantastic, especially if you've got, uh, you know, that's the, uh, the uh, yeah, they were the photo viewers that we've got, which we have, but we haven't actually made use of yet. Uh, the other, uh, you know, element of note as far as holiday material goes is the developers have added a lot of uh, holiday clip art as well. We're using the reindeer here. We've also, uh, you know, I, I guess that's the only real Christmas thing we threw in actually was the reindeer, but there's a lot more here in case you want it. And by a lot, we mean a lot. Uh, it just keeps going on and on. So uh, even some, uh, you know, there's some menorah and a uh, dreidel in case you're uh, Jewish and like to add some Hanukkah flair to this. 
And uh, likewise, there's a couple other holidays involved. We threw on a, a St. Patty's hat just because we're Irish and really respect that. But uh, you don't have to do that. We just uh, felt like being silly. So all in all, there's a massive amount of holiday content that's been added, which makes this, since it is an e-card app, essentially uh, even more worthwhile. Obviously, the having the ability to send holiday-specific e-cards is a tremendous boon. Uh, so we really appreciate the fact that the developers have thrown that in there. The fact that there are updates at all actually is a great sign because that means that the developers are actually continuing to uh, improve the app and that they're trying to add more along. Uh, you know, add more clip art as they go along, which is great because the app is currently a dollar in the App Store. So if you snag it now, you know, and you like creating e-cards, the content is only going to get richer, the clip art's only going to grow, and the interface itself is already rock solid. There's nothing that we'd like to improve about the interface except for maybe the text editing is slightly uh, sketchy at the moment. But other than that, you've got this perfect framework to build off of, and we really hope the developers continue just to flesh this out. That was our uh, thought with the last review, was that it just needed a little bit more content, but we're already seeing that. Uh, so uh, just uh, keep on, you know, this is a great time, and by great, we mean absolutely brilliant time to jump on the Buncee Pro bandwagon, especially with the 99 cent price. So we highly suggest that you get this, and then uh, just wait for the updates to continuously roll in as they have been doing. So with that in mind, Buncee Pro gets a solid 4.5 out of 5 stars from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. We really enjoy what it has to offer, and we love this app to begin with. So uh, 4.5 out of 5 as well as a recommendation. And that's all we really have to say about it, so at this point I'm just going to uh, you know, suggest that you guys check out the other videos that are on our YouTube channel if you want to hear my voice or see some awesome apps or do both, that is the place to go. Likewise, you can go to the iPhoneAppReview.com to view heaps of our written reviews as well. We're posting new content to both places with some frequency, so check back often. And that's all we have to say about it, so we're going to go ahead and sign out, but we'll see you guys later. Bye.